Senator Dianne Feinstein uh, apparently did not know she was retired. Uh, in fact, uh, her office had released a statement saying that she would not be seeking re-election in 2024. Um, let me read you the statement here. I saw it on Twitter. Uh, I'm announcing today that I will not run for re-election in 2024, but intend to accomplish as much as uh, as much for California as I can through the end of next year when my term ends. Uh, now, later on Tuesday, since this is a pretty big announcement, okay, uh, reporters uh, catch, uh, caught up to her and uh, they asked her, okay, what you say you're, you're basically, you're going to serve out the end of your term and then you're going to retire. Well, now she told the reporters, I haven't made that decision. I haven't released anything. Wait, so hold on. Her office puts out a statement and then when I ask her about it, she says, I didn't put out no statement. I'm not going to retire. Wait, what are you talking about? Now, a Feinstein staffer then told her, we put out the statement. She replied, you put out the statement? Seemingly surprised. Now, look, um, guys, this is pretty serious. We have people in office right now, like Fe Diane Feinstein, who are making decisions that are not all there. Uh, she has obvious cognitive issues. Now, I know, look, some people are going to get mad about me, uh, you know, mad mad uh, at me about this, okay? How dare you attack uh, a Democrat? How dare you attack Dianne Feinstein? Uh, you're being super ageist, et cetera, et cetera. No, no, no. Number one, I'm not trying to attack her, okay? I'm pointing out that she does have obvious decline, and it's not me that have been saying this. It's not a joke. It is a serious issue here. There are numerous reports that have come out from insiders, people who are staffers, people that work with her, that say that she is no longer able to effectively do her job. In fact, Jane Mayer of The New Yorker told All Things Considered two years ago that she says, really, for the last couple of years, I've been hearing that Diane Feinstein has been struggling, particularly with short-term memory issues, so that her staff will brief her and then she'll forget what she's been told or that she's been briefed at all. That was a couple of years ago. Now, apparently, it's gotten worse. Now, one California Democrat in Congress also uh, said that he had engaged, uh, or sorry, they had engaged in an extended conversation with Feinstein. In the course of that conversation, they said that uh, they had introduced, uh, reintroduced themselves multiple times throughout the exchange. So, look, this person, again, insider, right? This is a person who's like, oh, I can't wait to discuss uh, in-depth policy issues. And, and I'm going to read you a quote, right, that shows that, yes, that there's somebody who really likes, you know, Dianne Feinstein and is a Democratic insider Washington person through and through, okay? Now, this person says, I geared up for this discussion. I always enjoyed having these discussions. But this time, instead of talking about policy, I had to reintroduce myself several times. And after I would, you know, we would uh, have a conversation about small talk. And she would repeat herself with no apparent recognition that they had talked about this just, you know, sometimes minutes before. In fact, here's this quote. Or their quote, sorry. I've worked with her for a long time and long enough to know what she was like just a few years ago. Always in command, always in charge, on top of the details. Basically couldn't resist a conversation where she was driving some bill or some idea. All of that is gone. Furthermore, they said she was an intellectual and political force not that long ago. And that's why my encounter with her was so jarring because there was just no trace of that. Look, um, it's nothing personal against her, okay? You have Congress people and staffers that are saying this. I have to stress, these are insiders. These are Washington people, okay? I'm an outsider. It, again, it, people get mad at me for pointing this out as an outsider. And in fact, look, a lot of these people don't want to go on the record. 
Because they know, like, oh, this is a sensitive, touchy subject. And by the way, it is. Uh, I'm going to get in trouble. People are going to get mad at me. Uh, because I'm pointing out this very real issue, a very real cognitive decline. And that's uncomfortable because she's she's got seniority. She's up there. I'm an outsider. If I say these things, I get attacked. That, that's fine. These are insiders, though. And so I'm trying to tell you that she is not well. I think that she needs to retire. And, and I, I think that I'm going to get a lot of agreement. Okay. Look, again, nothing personal against her. But she should retire from Congress, okay, uh, and live out however many good years she has left with her family and friends. And I know that's super uncomfortable, and I know that's super morbid. But let me just come at it from a personal angle, right? I know how precious that time is. Look, I have a family member who's suffering from mental decline. Uh, she's far more advanced in, in that uh, decline than uh, Feinstein is, Okay. Uh, long-term memory is, is essentially gone. She doesn't remember me. She doesn't remember my wife. She doesn't remember a lot of people. Uh, and, and it's very sad and, and now is prone to emotional outburst. And, you know, um, it, it's just, it's very, it, it's sad. Uh, and that's why I think that it's even more important before it gets to that point for her. Because I think it, it, it is going to get to that point sooner rather than later. She still has times where she is coherent and cogent, right? And I'm talking about Feinstein here. That she spend whatever good time she has left with those moments with family instead of being in Congress. Like, what are you doing? No, go and spend what time you have left with your family, with the people that, that care about you and, and that love you. And this, again, this is the most personal I'm going to get uh, about this. This is, this is ignoring the fact that, of course, that if she's out there making decisions for 40 million constituents. No, it, it's time. It's time to step down. It, it's time to retire and, and let someone else uh, take over. Now, there are two people, of course, that are running for that office. Uh, I believe it's Adam Schiff and, and uh, Katie Porter. And so hopefully she decides to do the right thing and uh, does not seek re-election in 2024.